Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sunny. So today we're making a cucumber and yogurt sauce, also known as raita. This is a sauce you will see served in a lot of Indian restaurants and it's meant to bring that cooling aspect to a lot of the spicy dishes Indian food is known for. First things first, we're just gonna peel up an English cucumber. Now at this point you could cut it in half and seed it before you grate it. But let me show you how I do it. It's a little different and it just gets the same result. So I'm just going to use the finest setting on a box grater. Just start grating this up. So there's our grated cucumber. So just spread this out a little bit on your board. So I'm just going to season this right now. Just mix it on my board just a little bit. So we're starting that process. Remember salt leaches water out of anything that has water in it. So that is what we're doing. Just go ahead and add that to a strainer. We're gonna let that drain for about 15, 20 minutes. And while it's draining, you can periodically come in there and just help it out a little bit just by pushing down slightly. As you can see, already a lot of water in there that would make a great something you know you could do something with that you could put it in a gazpacho for instance okay so while our cucumber is draining we're gonna go ahead and smash up some garlic and just do some other prep for this raita so smash these garlics are no joke that's a biodynamic garlic I know garlic isn't actually traditional I don't think in raita but you know what it's so much better with this Slice that up a bit. So let me show you a little trick with garlic just to puree it easily with a knife. So we're gonna put some salt in there, just a little. Like we just said with the cucumber, the salt is gonna help to pull out the moisture, which in turn is gonna help it puree easier. And so what you wanna do is, I'm holding my knife almost flat to the board, right? And I'm just putting my fingers here, and I'm gonna do this motion that sort of grinds the garlic. So let me show you what I mean. And usually I'll run through maybe two or three times, and that'll be plenty. So we're gonna do this one more time. As you can see now, if you wanted it finer, you could, but that is a nice sort of mush. It's gonna be great in the sauce. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is to grind up these spices. This is some coriander and some cumin that I've just toasted over a low heat for about 10, 12 minutes and then let cool down. So we're just gonna begin grinding this. So we just wanna grind it up. Circular motion. You can even smash a little bit like this too and then back to grinding. We want it to be pretty fine as it's going into the sauce. I love unlocking the flavors of spices, especially after toasting them. I just got some, so I've just got some plain yogurt here. We're gonna go ahead and add our drained cucumbers to this, right? Spices going in. So now we're gonna slice our cilantro for the raita. You know, I always start slicing cilantro from the bottom because I love these stalks even more than the leaves sometimes. I don't know why people don't use these more. So what you want to do is just take off, you know, a quarter inch because they're a little bit dried out on the very bottom. And we'll just start slicing these much like chives. You know, that's why I like the look, I like the way they look in a sauce too because you have these little round pieces. Just go as fine as you can here, but you know, it's not the end of the world if you can't. That's good. Be using that. Add that cilantro into your mix. And last but not least, the garlic, which is the extra ingredient. And now remember, we're not putting any salt because it's already in the cucumber as well as the garlic. So we'll always taste for seasoning at the end and adjust if we need to, but let's try this first. So just start mixing. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, this is just 
plain yogurt. You know, you could also add green onions to this. I think that is traditional, but you know, there's a lot of variations of raita, and this is just one that I'm showing you. But I do love that addition of garlic. Adds a little bit of spice and just some more flavor. So I'm gonna be serving this sauce with a kima naan, which is part of my naan series. I'm gonna put a link up to that right now. Let me just give this a little taste and I'll tell you what I think. It's so fresh, so delicious. It's got that sourness from the yogurt, and the freshness from the cilantro. There's deep flavor from the coriander and the cumin and that garlic to give it a little bit of spice. It's screaming out for that naan recipe I just put up there. Well, that is it for today, my friend. I hope you grab some content out of this value right here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Do that and do not forget to leave me a like and I will see you next time.